So imagine this, you spent hours during the week preparing for your rehearsal, preparing for your set. You've got your Ableton set program, you have all your locators in, your MIDI mapping's done, everything's perfect. You show up and step on stage and suddenly you need to change the key and tempo of one of your songs. Hey, this is Will Doggett and today I wanna to show you how to do just that. Now, you don't need to head back in the studio and re-render tracks. You can do it directly in Ableton Live in the set you're using and do it almost instantly. So, let's get started. This week's tutorial is brought to you by Oyen Digital and the brand new Avastor HDX Pro. Now, as a professional, you need a drive that you can rely on and trust. And you can trust this drive with Oyen's four year warranty. So no matter what happens, you're gonna have a drive that's reliable that you can depend on. So for more information about this drive or any drive from Oyen Digital, head to oyendigital.com. That's O-Y-E-N digital.com. And use the code WILL10OYEN for 10% off anything in the Oyen Digital store. Thanks so much to Oyen Digital for their support up from studio to stage. Now, before we go any further, it's really important that you've seen part one and part two of this series on warping. So I've added the links below in the description. So pause this video if you haven't seen those and go back so you can understand how live treats audio. And then uh, secondly, you'll understand how to warp stems. That one is particularly important. Now the secret and the key to changing key and tempo, pun intended, of our stems in Ableton Live is to make sure they're warped. So last week I talked about warping stems. I've got the same song song file open uh, here in Ableton Live where these stems are warped and ready to go. Now my tempo is 95 BPM. Uh, I wanna change my tempo, so let's start there. I can go up to Live's global tempo and change it from 95, let's say to 120. This is pretty drastic change, hopefully you're not doing this. Now when I press play, let's jump ahead later in our song. All right, our song plays in time with our click. Again, pretty drastic change. Hopefully you're not doing that. Now for live performance, in particular if you're using this in a set, in a range of view, you can't just go up and change your tempo in live's global tempo. So you're likely using a tempo track. Now if you're not sure what a tempo track is, check out the video I linked up in the description below so that you can go check out that video, learn what a tempo track is, and then even download a free tempo track to get started. But what I'm going to do is just go over to my basic tracks template here. I'm gonna drag in my tempo track and let's just drag this out so that we can set and define our tempo for the length of this song. I'm gonna move it up to the top and then I'm gonna go here in the segment BPM box and let's go back to 95, which is what we're set to. So I'm just gonna type 95 in there. Now, if you're on live 10 or higher, then in this box right now that you're looking at, it says follower. And we wanna press that to take it to leader. Now, if you're on live nine or earlier, then in your box, it says master and slave. We wanna take it from slave to master. And what that means is this audio file, it's blank, there's nothing in it, but it's gonna now set live's tempo. So if I press stop and go back to the beginning of my set and press play, you'll see my tempo look in the upper left-hand corner. My tempo is back to 95 BPM. So with my stems warped, with my tempo track in, to change my tempo live in the moment, it's as simple as going down here, and let's do something a little more recently, 97 BPM. I'm gonna click in this box to take it from leader to follower, uh, and then back to leader, or in your case, if you're on live nine, slave to master, and then back to master. And now when I press stop, press play again, you'll see my tempo is at 97. So changing our, our tempo is super straightforward, super easy. Now, the only difference when we talk about changing our key versus changing our tempo is we probably don't wanna make this change to every single one of our tracks. Now, I suggest making the change to the tracks that uh, are melodic, that have pitch to them. So for instance, your drum tracks, if they're not pitched, if you don't have your kick drum specifically tuned to a, a particular key and it's a live drum set um, or a, a recorded acoustic drum set, then you do not wanna pitch that. Just leave that the way it is or it starts to sound kind of crazy. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go through and find just the stuff that has pitch. So my leads have pitch, my bass, uh, and then this band track has pitch. So, uh, and actually my pads down here. So I'm gonna grab all three of those. And the way I did that is I just click on one and I hold command and I go to just the ones that uh, have sound or pitch that I wanna change. So let's go back through here, get bass, and then let's just stop with that. 
So now with all those, what I'm gonna do is go down here into the clip envelope, uh, and I wanna change a few things just in the sample box here. So you see where it says transpose, and this says zero ST. ST stands for semitone or half step. So if you are in the key of D and you want to go up to E, you need to go up two half steps or one whole step. So uh, I think I'm in the key of D here, let's go up to E. So what I'm gonna do is take my transpose and just move this up two um, half steps or one whole step. The other thing you could do is type in the box to actually take it up to the exact amount you want. And again, uh, all our sims are warped, so they're gonna play at the same tempo, but only the ones that we've selected are gonna play at the new pitch. Now, one other thing I wanna show you here, when you are changing the key of stems, it's important to go from complex to complex pro. When you go to Complex Pro, what that's gonna do is help maintain the timbre of your stems, the timbre of how those sound. And basically that's just, think of, uh, you really hear this on vocals. I don't have vocals loaded in this track, but if you have a vocal stem, pitch it either down or up, and then uh, change your warp mode from Complex to Complex Pro, and you'll hear how it retains the original sound uh, of those uh, stems, the original timbre of that, and it's really, really powerful. You can get some weird artifacts sometimes if you go really far, so you can mess with formants in the envelope there to get it dialed in just right. So that's a look at how we can um, drop our stems in and change our key or tempo in the middle of a live set. And again, really useful when you're in rehearsal, and it, it's almost instant uh, is how quick and easy it is to make those changes. So stay tuned next week for part four, where we talk about how to warp stems with a tempo change. So we've talked about how live treats audio, um, how to warp stems, how to change key or tempo. Next week, we are gonna talk about how to warp stems with a tempo change. Now, to see that, make sure if you're watching us on YouTube to subscribe. If you're watching on Facebook, make sure to like our page. And if you're watching on Instagram, make sure you are following us so that you see when we post next week's video on warping stems with tempo change. Thanks so much for watching us. See you next week. Take care, bye.